Now, on to Richard Hart's tweets. Got a couple here I think are interesting to, to hear. Who read this one was like, oh, crap. I think I, when I first read it, I was like, huh, okay. I think a lot of times I'll read them, you know, I'll just passively read them be like, okay. You know, I'm just kind of searching for like interesting things. Don't know, really know what to think at first. And I'll go back and think about it or I'll hear, hey, I'll talk to other people about it or I'll hear them comment about it. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Maybe there's, maybe, maybe there was more of, a, uh, you know, again, I don't take stuff half seriously or like, I don't feel like, you know, he's talking to me on all this stuff. I'm not here putting in work, right? I'm not here like crying about my bags and stuff, but um, I once read a story about airline losing someone's bags. The passenger was yelling at the overworked employee until she heard there's only two people in the world that care about finding your bags. And one of them is losing interest. Hmm. Moral, know who's on your team. Rich Hart's on your team. If you are a holder, a staker, a farmer, someone who believes, who isn't footed out easily, who isn't out there spreading, you know, all kinds of negative stuff. You know, if you're if you're a holder in this ecosystem and, and you hold on, there's a case to be made. He probably cares about you. And that's and um, because it, it, at least indirectly, right? Like he cares about glory. He cares about having all this, all this, you know, best coin, best ecosystem, best community, all this stuff. If you're in there doing the right things, then, uh, you know, he, he probably indirectly at least cares about you. And what does care about you mean? You know, again, it could be benevolent actions. It could mean nothing. It could be, it definitely means no expectations, but boy, I've never found it. I found, I never found it in my heart to actually complain honestly about like, what would I complain about? I don't know what to complain about. Like I already just said it in so many different ways about the, let me bring up the, uh, the other tweet. <clears throat> so this is the liquidity one. Um, yeah. He said in so many different ways, like, don't worry about the SEC stuff. Like basically, I mean, again, I'm just summarize my interpretation. So, uh, you know, Solana, Solana pumped when the SEC said it was said Solana bad too, right? Coinbase got sued by the SEC. It looks like it looks like the Coinbase stock. Let's look up. I don't know when they got sued. Let's just do like a year. Yeah, it looks like they're doing fine. Let's do look at Coinbase sued SEC date. Sue Quint and June 6th. So June 6th of 2023. That's at least one date. So since June, uh, let's see. It's not giving me the full map here. Oh, year to date. Sorry. Click one year. Okay. So June 6th. So June 6th, Coinbase was 50, 51 bucks. And now it's 265. Sued by the SEC. Big legal battle probably more than once. They seem to be doing just fine. Solana. I don't know when they, I don't know when that happened, but we can go back anywhere here. It doesn't even matter when it happened. They're up. They hit 200, they hit 200 bucks. Yeah, they briefly hit 200 bucks, 202 bucks. Also, SEC said they're unregistered security, all this stuff. It looks like they're doing fine. So what, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not, again, I think that's what, he, what he's saying. A lot of these things is like, like why are you so worried about SEC stuff? There's other products and, and, and companies and stuff that have gotten too bad SEC and they're doing fine. Yeah, maybe there was a big dip and it went down for a while and maybe it's depressed and stuff like that, but it's not like the SEC kept them down, that sort of thing of other examples at least. And then he keeps hammering in explicit detail over and over and over about liquidity and all these different plates. Liquidity is key. Liquidity is a key part of this ecosystem. That's why Pulse X is based on Uni V2 tech and not V3 because it can pump harder. I covered that on the show before too. Um, everything, I, again, I say this and it's like, I don't know who's going to even take it serious like when I say the words, but to me, 
overall, when I look at everything, everything is going fine. <laughs> but if all you do is look at the price and wonder why it isn't up enough for you yet, then of course you're going to miss the bigger picture and be confused and frustrated more often. Like when I look at the data and I add a little bit of belief, a little bit of rational optimism, I'm good to go, bro. When ready? When ready? Do I wish it was tomorrow? Sure. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I wish. You know? So, um, yeah. I mean, it just sucks that, like, the community is just drama back and forth, all this stuff. Again, I try to fade fade, fade the noise. That's, that's one, of, like, new, one of my new uh, phrases. Fade the noise, baby. Fade, fade the noise. Don't have time for noise. 